Like, you know what I mean? Like, it's not it's not inconceivable for a bad team to win. The the whereas the Stanley Cup, I don't is feel a, that way. The, the Tigers are built to fail. They're never yeah, but the Braves <laughs> want to stay. Uh, I mean, a, a World Series without one of their best players. You know, like it is possible. It's very possible that to is win. True, but the Braves are a competent organization with depth throughout their farm system the tigers are not yeah but if the, the tigers, tigers were to fire system. al avila tomorrow and get an uh, get a competent gm they could absolutely win in 2028 like 2027 oh, yeah oh it, you okay, know what i mean far, yeah, yeah, yeah yeah like okay, like i, I, I right now year. at the current state of the detroit tigers right now my pick is 2049 yeah um <laughs> you know what i mean and um, so like the only like because here's the thing. Even if they fire Avila, I need to see who they hire. Right. If it's another yes man to Chris Illich, same boat, 2049. <laughs> you know, it's never going to happen. Yeah. I mean, but here's the thing, though, right? Like, even if you have a yes man mm -hmm. who, like, you know, let you know, you don't get the free agent you want. You know, let's say, you, you know, you're a yes man and you wanted Carlos Correa, but Chris won't let you have it and you can't really do anything about it. Right. And so you sell for Javi Baez. Even if, if you are half as competent, if you were just like like 50% more competent, you know, instead of 0% competent that Avila is, even if you're 50, you have draft picks and people in the farm system to trade with for, for, for current assets. You have more assets. You know, you have positional players that you can be excited about coming up. It's like, but with... With Al, it's like, oh, we got like four guys. We got Riley Green, we got Spencer Torkelson, and we got Tariq Skubal, and maybe Casey Mize if he can recover from Tommy John surgery and not have his, you know, if he can come back from it, which is like, it's a huge unknown, right? That's who we have. If we have a halfway competent GM who is still a yes man, but at least can draft well, like the Tigers are at, not in the worst position, especially because of all the years they had top draft position, right? Like, huh. yeah, I mean, it's like, the, and the, you know, the GM would be the one hiring those coaches in the minors and would potentially, we would be better at developing players. Right. And like, you know, well, and the Isak reason why Reyes I don't doesn't wanna... leave the organization and become an overnight phenom mm -hmm. in, in Tampa Bay somehow, you know what I mean? So, my thing is, and I, and I hate like talking about this anymore at this point, you know, with the Tigers and everything, because it's so like just done, you know, like, yeah, you know, because I loved making fun of the Lions when they were incompetent because it was just fucking funny. You know, it was hilarious. So to watch um, it's I, I and, and I say this in the most respectful way possible, but I think the Lions are a pathetic organization who need to change owners or else they're never going to win a Super Bowl. That's why, like, I can only predict their playoff win because I don't know what else the, the Ford family is going to do to this organization. I can't predict. I still think that Dan Campbell is in way over his head. I, you know what I mean? That's just my personal opinion. So it's just like one of those things where like it's hard for me to say but like they're on the right track that's all i can say about the lions with the tigers yeah. like they're reminding me of the lions which is very 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 um terrifying you know, but i like, but like the tigers I don't even is know, the problem i don't even know if it's like is it like the the, the lions cuz at least the lions had like peaks and valleys this team is just a steady, it's a linear line down. At least the Lions, like, they had 2014. Okay, explain to me. Were... Okay, explain to me the Lions with Bob Quinn. Case in point. Fair enough. Okay. That's what my, that's, this is, this is <laughs> yeah, you're the right. Lions, Bob but I Quinn. Think, you know what I, I mean? That's part of it is Bob Quinn was gone after four years. Or, well, he wasn't, but, but because he was around for some of the Caldwell era, but like, Patricia was gone after three years. Right. It's been seven with Al Avila. And I think that's why. That, I mean, you're comparing a coach the Lions, to a GM, but still. At least the Lions keep throwing it at people out and keep trying a new, you know, throwing a new candidate at the board with the Tigers. It's been the definition of insanity of they keep trying this thing with Avila and nothing gets better. Well, and in, in the funniest thing, well, and, and a lot of it has to do 
with, I mean, <sighs> right, you, you've said this before, right? Football is king. You know, like people are much more critical of their football teams. And, 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 and I think that a lot of it also has to do with the fact that the NFL gives a shit. 